Welcome to Smart Biz and Tech Your Home for the latest in AI and innovation. Today, it's Microsoft Copilot versus ChatGPT in the ultimate AI showdown. If you want the inside scoop on which AI is winning the download war and why, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Let's find out. Why is ChatGPT crushing Microsoft Copilot in an app download the AI race? Despite a $13 billion investment in OpenAI, Copilot is falling behind. Copilot once looked like it would dominate the market. It's built into Windows and Microsoft 365, making it easy for Office users. But if you think Copilot is winning, think again. Research from the likes of A Recent Bloomberg shows even newer AI apps are leapfrogging Copilot in downloads. So, what's going wrong for Microsoft? First, ChatGPT nails the basics. Its interface is clean, simple, and easy for anyone to use. Whether you're a student, a business pro, or just curious, it works the same for everyone. Business or personal, ChatGPT keeps things unified and familiar. You can even pick which AI model you want for each prompt. And new features always arrive here first. OpenAI keeps its branding clear and simple. The experience is smooth, fast, and easy to follow. And for video, there's Sora no confusion. Everything is organized, clear, and consistent. Copilot is confusing. There are so many versions, it's easy to get lost. There's Copilot for consumers. Copilot Pro for business users. Copilot Plus PCs with special AI chips. And Copilot built into Microsoft 365 apps. It looks a mess, users are left wondering, which Copilot do I need? You can't even choose which AI model Copilot uses, it's a black box. The process is hidden and locked away from users. And new features? They arrive months later than ChatGPT. The branding is all over the place, no one knows what Copilot really is. Copilot tries to act friendly, but it just feels corporate and forced. Bing Chat's launch was a PR disaster. It completely failed to go viral. No viral spark unlike ChatGPT, Copilot just didn't catch fire online. Credit where it's due, Copilot does have some real strengths. Copilot Pro is actually great for Microsoft Office users, especially in Excel. It can help you build PowerPoint slides in seconds. And it's a real time saver for Outlook email and scheduling. If you live in Microsoft 365, Copilot can seriously boost your productivity. Plus, Copilot Vision lets you interact with Windows apps in real time. You can control your apps and get instant feedback, something ChatGPT can't do on Windows. That's a unique edge for Copilot ChatGPT, just can't match it here. Here's the kicker when it comes to price. Both Copilot Pro and ChatGPT Plus cost $20 a month. But for businesses, Copilot costs even more. Microsoft charges businesses $30 per user, on top of Microsoft 365. Meanwhile, Google's Gemini is included for all paid workspace users. That's hard to beat. ChatGPT is most popular with general users, employees, younger people, and AI enthusiasts who want control and customization. College students and younger users love ChatGPT for its flexibility and ease of use. Developers and tech-savvy users integrate ChatGPT into their workflows for more control. Professionals appreciate being able to adjust settings and preferences directly. Copilot tries to serve both home and office users with the same tool. But users want a single, consistent AI experience across all their devices. Multiple Copilot versions and confusing branding make it hard to know which to use. The big picture? Microsoft's early lead and huge investment is now questionable. Copilot is losing ground, and investors are noticing. Even Microsoft's CEO in recent interviews has admitted Copilot's underperformance. Simplifying branding could help Copilot catch up. Speeding up updates is also key. Users want more control and customization. Right now, Copilot is always catching up. Bottom line, ChatGPT dominates thanks to clear branding, user control, and fast innovation. Its simple, unified interface makes it easy for anyone to use, and its fast new features arrive first. Plus, users know exactly what model they're using transparency matters. Copilot's confusing versions and slow updates are holding it back. Despite its strengths in Office, Copilot needs to do more to compete. Which one are you using? Let us know in the comments.